So I had those Dollar Tree cards, um, and actually a big quantities. Um, so I thought, how about creating a fun flower uh, and maybe setting it somehow, someplace? We'll see how it does all come out. So I'm on a mission right here to just simply try uh, to see if five of my hearts that comes out of the package would make the one nice flower. So I'm just pointing it the, um, to the center and then of course my, making my marking so I don't have to deal with it twice. And it does seem like it looks pretty good. Not going to lie, I love this. It would actually make a nice tray too. Well, I just have to figure out how to make it um, straight. But you know what, that's the next project. So all what I'm going to do is just simply add the glue right in between the markings I've done before because obviously everything worked. So I think I like it. Okay, so let's keep on painting, continuing. So I decided to use uh, acrylic brown uh, paint. I could have actually keep it um, uh, natural because the board that I was planning on using had was already brown. But you know what? I decided to experiment even more and use the chippy paint. So I just put the leftover chapstick <laughs> all over this, and of course, all over the you know, make the markings all over my board. Painted it with the chalk paint, and then of course, I'm going to try to dry it and see how my chippy paint is going to come up. Well, it's a nice coverage, not going to lie. So, okay, so all is dry. So now I'm just going to take my paper towels because the paint is still sort of, um, you know, semi-dry. And look at this. I do have me some chippy paint. I know if you t leave the paint a little bit longer to dry or dry a little bit longer, you would have to most likely use a little bit more of a force. But now look, my paper towels brought me some nice, very chippy-like looking uh, piece of the board. So I think... Uh, my idea of keeping my flower brown was actually, hopefully, is going to work in here. So, but before we check this, a little bit of the gold, as with everything, because, you know, we do not want to mess up later anything else. So, I think it's all enough. I love these little pieces. And, of course, because I do have some gold on my fingers already, I decided to highlight the edges um, of the flower we just made. No rhyme and reason how much and where. I just had to wipe my fingers somehow. Okay, so now let's decorate a little bit of the uh, uh, the board that we're going to put on it. And I always have the scraps of those little rhinestones. So I decided to add a little bit of the hot glue on each corner and just simply stretch it and install as a nice surprise inside the frame. Well, it's all because I had some gold all around, so I had to just add it. And I actually do like it because it's there, but the uh, chippy paint is much more visible that it's just only uh, visible a bit. So now I decided to white brush, uh, but just really lightly white brush the, uh, uh, my brown portion of the heart, just so it does have still more of a brown, but it's sort of uh, delicate. It was just way too uh, starchy looking for that air for that background so i think it's working actually pretty good okay time to hot glue it and see how all is going to work and it seems like it is pretty good it actually looks super old and then i was just waging do i use the rag bowl i have or do i use my partial flower that i was working on and this is actually uh, petals from the dollar tree I guess from the wedding section so i just you know stitched them all together and of course that was a part of my flower guess what now it's going to be part of my uh, project here and i actually do love how um all comes together so now a little bit of the slice of the driftwood right in the middle just to create the flower and i think this is a match made in heaven what do you think wish i was crafting with you um you would have been uh, full of ideas what else i should add but for now i'm just going to leave it a little bit and continue with the leftover piece of that those rhinestones because you know me i just can't leave that tiny piece so i decided to make a little snail right in the middle exposing some gold because the rhinestone did were placed in a gold chain and of course exposing a bit of that sparkle that is already on the edges and i think it looks pretty good a little bit of the hot glue here and there and i do actually love it 
I don't think I need anything else. So here are the close-up pictures. And I wonder, what will you add What, what or what would you take it away? I am actually enjoying it right now. And again, as with everything, I'm just going to stare at this project until I know what my final move is. So I so hope that I inspired you to put the random things even back from Valentine's Day to use and create. Thanks for watching. And if you did enjoy, please don't forget to sprinkle. Bye.